Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Arkansas Weather Blog. We are your ticket to big weather events. And this week on the Arkansas Weather Blog, you have entered the no hype zone. We're going to do our best to make sure you know the facts and nothing but the facts. I'm not going to post every single model data uh, that comes out that shows. It's if, I, if you're on social media, you, the only thing you're exposed to on social media uh, is, is uh, maps that show all the snow and all this ice. But when a model run comes out and it doesn't show anything, you're not, that, that's kept away. That, that information isn't shown. Now, with all that said, will there be snow and ice? And could there be something big? Absolutely. My point is we just don't know yet. Uh, so it whips everybody up into a frenzy. And this is a forecast and I, I'm not going to downplay. We really need to pay attention to. But I'm going to call this the no hype zone for the next week. Uh, yes, it's going to get cold. My confidence on it getting cold is off the charts high. It's going to get colder. Uh, there are no guarantees of weather until after it happens, but again, very high confidence it's going to get colder. How moisture and certain waves in the upper atmosphere interact with the cold air, where that happens, how that happens, that's the big question mark. Seriously, on the table for Christmas is cold and dry. That's not what you want to hear. That's not what I want to hear. Also on the table is precipitation. Too early to know, but things are starting to kind of come together a little bit now. Uh, and that's what this video is gonna go over. First of all, the great news is the fact that we are going to get rid of a lot of these burn bands, especially across Southern Arkansas. Two rounds of rain and then the colder air gets in here and we're gonna take you through on this blog video, Monday, December 18th at 7.53, I'm recording this. So of course, model information changes, but I'm gonna take you all the way through to Christmas day. And for that, this, it's the RPM model, not one of my favorite short range models. Sometimes it does great, sometimes it does not. And a lot of times what happens is it begins to catch on what the other models are showing and that's exactly what's happening right now. Dry today, although we're gonna have plenty of cloud cover, especially this morning and probably into the afternoon. But this is 1.30 Tuesday afternoon, all rain, and it will be heavy. Notice the area that is going to see the heaviest rain, according to this, I grabbed the wrong tool, here we go. Uh, it's this area, and when did that turn blue? I meant for that to be white. Anyway, so uh, central and southern Arkansas will have the greatest chance for snow, oh, I'm sorry, for rain, <laughs> rain uh, at this time period on Tuesday. Now, Tuesday at 6 o'clock, it, it starts to spread into northern Arkansas a little bit, but still pockets of heavier rain right along from Little Rock down to I-30 and into the Dequeen area. We also have it out here in the El Dorado. So it looks pretty rainy on, on, uh, on Tuesday. Then uh, Tuesday night, it continues to rain, pockets of heavy rain. And you know what? There are leaves still, uh, you know, cl possibly clogging storm drains. So it, I, I'm not expecting, you know, any widespread flooding. I'm not expecting that right now. But there's going to be quite a bit of ponding on the roadways, especially near storm drains because of leaves clogging those drains in areas that get the heaviest rainfall. Then the heaviest of the rain starts to march towards the east. We get the effects of the upper low, pretty cool on Wednesday with scattered showers. Now, what about rainfall amounts? Here we go. This is the European computer model doing a fairly decent job, although it's been shifting it further towards the north. But this is corresponding with two in this, in this area. Let me see if I get the right drawing tool. In this area right in here two to three to maybe four inches of rain. This might be a little bit more right in here. Uh, I agree with the model with less here, but there may be a little bit more across Southeast Arkansas than what it shows here. So uh, in general, I think that the rainfall amounts, uh, as, as I'm telling you, you could draw a line from Northeast Arkansas to near Batesville, back towards Conway, Mount Ida, and the Mena, south and east of that line. I think two, three, four inches of rain will be possible. Uh, the model output rain amounts through Wednesday for the Little Rock metro area. The European says 2.3, the NAN says 1.7, the GFS is 2.1. So central Arkansas, when I say two, three, four inches, probably on the lower end of that scale and the four inches maybe a little bit further south. What about the timing of that rain? Well, I got the wrong map. Oh boy. Well, it starts to increase. I pulled up the wrong map. I made the wrong one. I, I, I made one, but I, and I put the wrong one into the show. Anyway, it's going to rain tomorrow. Let's talk about the cold, uh, the cold that's coming. It's all been locked up into Canada, right up into there. 
Uh, the jet stream has been configured so that, yeah, we get these storm systems and occasional intrusions of colder air, uh, but mostly holding all the cold air away and the jet stream uh, bringing in Pacific air. But there's going to be major, and I mean major amplification of the jet stream. And you see this ridge configuration. See that ridging going way up into Alaska, up towards the uh, Arctic Circle, back down. So it dislodges the cold. You're going to hear stories about how warm Alaska is relative to the average. Still going to be cold in Alaska. But when you look at Alaska's temperature compared to their, their average, it's going to be way above. Well, it's not just it warmed up and it, it, it will warm up, but that cold air has got to go somewhere and it's heading south. You see that huge chunk get dislodged. This is how we get cold air in Arkansas. This is how it's happened for the beginning of time. Ridge goes up, trough, and here comes the cold air. And eventually what happens is the cold air retreats and gets cold back over Canada again. Uh, but anyway, Canada and Alaska. So the cold air is pressing down into the, uh, the lower 48. Notice how it goes further south into Texas than it does here in Arkansas. Well, there's a ridging right in this area that's going to be, you're going to have ridging right here. Get my drawing tool again. You're, where's my drawing tool? There we go. You're going to have ridging right in here. Okay. There's going to be a ridge there. Then you're going to have this trough. It's going to set up a zone, a storm track somewhere right in here. And that's, that's the question. Where does all this set up? It's going to set up a storm track uh, and, and, and detailing the specifics on the location, how deep that cold air is, how much moisture it's able to tap into. It's just not known, but this is, you know, it's going to get colder before the 26th. We're talking about next weekend. So this is the European computer model and it's showing precipitation type. And this is on Friday morning. You know, we got that round of rain Tuesday and Wednesday, and then there's more rain coming up on Friday and maybe even a thunderstorm or two. So that's rain by seven o'clock on Friday. See that red line? What I've done is I've got the freezing line and I, a lot of times what the computer models do, it, um, with the, with the, with cold Arctic air, it underestimates the strength of the Arctic air, how cold it is. And it underestimates the timing, meaning it usually gets here a little bit sooner. However, the Ozarks do tend to hold up shallow cold air masses some, uh, and you'll see the air going down into Texas, deep into Texas. And then it takes a while for that cold air to come around. It hits the Ozarks, kind of pools around here for a little while, and eventually sneaks down north. Uh, when you get that northeast wind, I can't draw, can I? You get that northeasterly wind flow and that cold air starts to drain down on the uh, east side of the Ozarks. You race. So there's a round of rain. That moves away. And then remember, there's going to be that ridge off the east coast and, and into the uh, southern Gulf. And then you've got the cold air pressing and it's going to start to, there's going to be a battle zone right there. So this is on Christmas Eve at 730 in the morning. It's showing rain with another wave of moisture and the timing of these it's not going to catch on to the timing or the strength or the exact location this far out. It's just not going to happen. So, but what I want you to see is that it's got the freezing line north of Arkansas. You see the snow up here into Kansas. If you've got travel plans, this is what we're talking about. Let's just say hypothetically the European computer model is right. Let's say this is right. It's rain here. Well, you want to know what's going to happen where you're traveling. This is going to have far reaching impacts if this, if it's indeed develops snow towards the north, but rain here. The worry that I have is that the cold air is stronger and further towards the south. And this is not just rain. And indeed, the European computer model does show on, on Christmas day, shortly after midnight, that cold air getting into Arkansas with that moisture in place and the back edge of that with some sort of transition. Again, my worry is that the cold air is stronger and the cold air is deeper, further along, and into Arkansas, and this is not just rain. And then this is uh, Christmas morning. You see, again, you can't take this literally. Please don't say, Todd Colby said it's gonna snow right here. No, that's not what it's saying. This is just a computer model. Uh, and then into the future again. And then it keeps that battle zone. And again, enough cold air where you see a freezing line there. This would be more than just rain. If this were to happen, if this were to happen the uh, Christmas day after Christmas on the 26th at 2.30. So I hope I made some sense there, and I will recap uh, everything that I'm saying here. First of all, two rounds of rain. Tomorrow and into Wednesday, and then we got Saturday, uh, sorry, Friday. Then the cold air starts to come in. My 
And, and as you see on the European computer model, it shows the sub-freezing air holding up further towards the northwest. I'm not fully on board with that. Many times, Arctic air is stronger and it is colder further along, further towards the east of what the computer models depict, especially in the long range. That is the concern. Then the concern is, where does that battle zone shave up? What if it's further towards the east and we're cold and dry? That's possible. What if it's further towards the west and it's right over us? We got that shallow cold layer and then we're talking about a wintry mix across portions of uh, the Mid-South. So a lot to keep an eye on. Yes, it is a very active pattern. I told you with all those weeks of boring, no weather, the dam would break and, the, and the, it would get extremely active and that's what we're seeing. So stay with Channel 7, the Arkansas Weather Blog. We are your ticket to big weather events in the no hype zone.